Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about a real interesting, and I would call even cool, property of triangles. And here is a triangle, or what appears to be a triangle, but I'm saying that this is not possible. So in other words, this triangle here with these lengths is not possible. So that's a little bit of a hint. And why is that? So there's a very direct reason why you cannot construct a triangle with these particular lengths. Now, if you know what that reason is, go ahead and justify uh, your conclusions or tell me the reasons or maybe come at this a different way. But put that into the comment sections. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the exact reason why this uh, a triangle of these lengths is not possible. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, just so we understand uh, what I'm trying to say here, right? Understand uh, the point is that I'm saying that a triangle of lengths 6, 3, and 10 is not possible to construct. And why is that? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. It's very simply because of what we call the triangle inequality. Okay, and this is not that difficult. And there's a couple different um, takes on the triangle inequalities. We're only going to take a look at one here. So let's take a look at an actual real triangle. Now, this particular triangle that I'm going to look at is... Um, a right triangle. Now this concept can apply to uh, right triangles, non-right triangles, but let's just take this triangle. So it just happens to be a right triangle, but uh, we can form a actual real right triangle with lengths three, four, five. And if you wanted to kind of verify that, you can use the Pythagorean uh, theorem, but this is what we call a Pythagorean uh, triple. Okay, so three, four, five, this is in fact a real, real uh, triangle. Now, let's take a look at the properties that I'm kind of want you to kind of hone in here. Okay, and this is one way you can kind of verify that if you have uh, a triangle and you have the lengths of a particular triangle, and someone says, could you form a, a triangle with these particular lengths? This is the way you would verify. It, okay, this is uh, basically the triangle inequality in action. So basically, what the triangle inequality states is that the sum of any two sides of uh, a triangle, okay, will always be greater than the third side. So let's take a look at what this uh, means here. So let's add five plus four. So five uh, plus four, which of course is nine, that's greater than the third side, which is three. No big deal there. Let's take another combination here. So we got five and three. So is five plus three, is that greater than four? Yep, that makes sense, because five plus three is eight, that's greater than four. And then let's go ahead and uh, do four and three. Is this uh, greater than five? Well, four plus three is seven. That's greater than five. So if you um, have a real triangle, this you'll always be able to uh, have the, these properties in place. And again, this is basically an illustration of the triangle inequality. So one way you can kind of think about this before I show you our actual problem is let's suppose you had three sticks, right? Three straight little uh, lines like this. One is three and another is four and another down here is five. And you're asked to construct a triangle with these lengths, right? Let me kind of erase this here for a second. Uh, so, you know, you could kind of put this together. You could put the three right here, the four right there, and then the five would fit perfectly from corner to corner. But just because you have three lengths, that doesn't mean that you can always construct uh, an actual triangle, right? So here I could have one uh, straight line that's really long, and then here I could have another one that's kind of medium. And then if I only have a little short uh, length right there, let's just make something up. Let's call this two, let's call this five, and let's call this like 12. Well, you could see this two will never it'll never be long enough to close this triangle out. And even if it went down like this, you would have some weird figure like this. So the lengths of um, the sides of a triangle have to follow the triangle inequality. And this is how you can determine whether in fact you are dealing with an actual triangle. So let's go ahead and take a look at the triangle in question. And this is how we can kind of prove or disprove whether in fact you can form 
a triangle with sides 3, 6, and 10. So let's go ahead and uh, just kind of check each side. So 10 plus 3 is 10 plus 3 greater than 6? Well, yes, it is, right? So 10 plus 3, that's 13. That's greater than 6. So that checks out. Let's do 10 and 6. Okay, is that greater than 3? 10 plus 6, 16. That isn't greater than 3 as well. Everything looks pretty good all, uh, all the way up to the point where we go 6 and 3. Is 6 and 3, is that greater than 10? Well, this is 9. This is not greater than 10. So this fails right here, okay, meaning that you cannot construct uh, a triangle of these dimensions, of these lengths, all right? So this uh, triangle inequality, this does pop up from time to time on test, especially things like the SAT or ACT or just, you know, it's just basic good geometry to know. So hopefully, you know, um, you learned something here. Right? If you already knew that, that's awesome as well. Again, if you are working on geometry, there's all these little theorems, postulates, properties that you don't use too frequently, but, you know, you do kind of need to know them. So again, you know, whether it's using my geometry course or another program or other material, if you are studying geometry, make sure you get all those kind of um, concepts down because uh, in high school level geometry, okay, if you happen to be in high school, you only kind of get geometry one time more or less, okay? After geometry comes algebra two, then pre-calculus and calculus. So what you learn in geometry, it's really important, okay? And you will kind of need to remember a lot of those concepts going forward. And again, you are only typically really focus dedicated, you know, one year uh, span in terms of a geometry course. And that's, you know, a very unique course. So really get into it and learn as much as possible. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.